Me and Nate are here with Byron and his wife Kim and they're with Osceola Outback Adventures and they are going to take us out spearing tilapia. Now they normally do bow fishing charters but uh, hey I've got a seven foot spear so you know I'm going to do that. We have peacock bass. Look at that spear holder just, just begging for a spear. Oh this area is beautiful. We are hunting tilapia. This fish is native to Africa and it's an invasive species that's just all over here in southern Florida and a lot of places in the South and North America. It's really common for people to farm tilapia and they just kind of spread all over the place. They're a little bit harder to catch on rod and reel because they tend to eat more like algae and plankton and stuff, but uh, they definitely take a spear okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll eat a spear <laughs> every they'll, time they'll and it'll be big and white. Like you'll see them glowing like a... The real limitation with the spear is you got that distance and that distance makes a big difference. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna earn my tilapia. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. First throw. First throw. Uh, it's definitely aiming low enough. Well, first throw of the day and we got ourselves a massive tilapia. That, that's a streak I probably can't maintain, but <laughs> look at that. Whoop. That is a big fish. You're gonna laugh at this. Okay, I guess that wasn't a tilapia. <laughs> Good shot, Joe. Oh, you see that? I. What oh, was I even filming? Oh, there we go. Look how pretty those are. Oh, yeah, you see it just, you can just see it plow him. That, that is a perfect kill shot right there. That's when you know you got it all. Yeah, he, he didn't even wiggle. <laughs> that. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got clam. Promising, didn't it? Oh yeah! <laughs> Fast on the feet. Oh, that sound! Oh! <laughs> uh oh, I think I lost my my, my wingman here. <laughs> there you go, Nate. Oh, get my little bro party too hard. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm having such a good time, and I've seen so many tilapia, and they're just huge. I've probably seen a hundred fish on this short trip, but we're gonna go try another spot that has another type of invasive species called an armored catfish, and uh, we're gonna go try to spear some of those as well. Hey, bud. You want to spear an armored catfish, buddy? Yeah. And Nate, why don't you come up with me on the front? Hey, Nate, come here, come here. Come on, Steve. See, do you see that dark fish right there? Ready? Oh, oh! There's a lot of different species of armored catfish, but they come from South America, and they eat mostly decaying wood. They don't have a lot of meat on them, though I have eaten them before. And if you guys want to see me cooking an armored catfish, I'll put a link in the description. Oh, right here he is. There. This one's shallow. You, this one's all you need. Come here. Come here. See him? See him? Put your hand on the spear. Come on. Put your hand on the spear. Okay, now throw it down. Throw it down. Got him? I think you might. 
He flakoed us. So they'll build a cave, put an egg mass in there. It looks like a big yellow sponge. And they'll lay their eggs in there. And then they protect the front of the hole by guarding it with a you know big armored catfish. Yeah. So you reach up there and you can catch that catfish by hand and pull them out. And then when you reach in about elbow or bicep deep, you'll feel that spongy mass. You can pull it out. The tropical fish uh, farmers yeah. here in Florida will actually buy those and put them in their hatchery and hatch them to sell the little sucker fish plecos in the aquarium trade. That's where they go. There's commercial pleco kidnappers. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, Nathan, right here, right here, big pleco. Oh my God! Yeah. yeah, yeah, the trophy pleco, plecosaurus. That's what that is. You ready, Nate? Yeah. Okay, go get him. Got it. No, you got him. What? You got him. See, you he's... got it. You ready? Yeah. Pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, oh. You, you pinned him. I, I don't think we had even pierced him. Sorry. That was a heavily armored Playco. Nathan, does that make you want to just get him even more? We need to activate beast mode. <laughs> now that we got beast mode activated, I think we can do this. Hey. I can see what's going on here. We need to we need to touch things up a little bit. Hey, come here, Nate. This one's deep, but we can get him. Right there. See where my spear's pointing? Yeah. Okay, that's where he is. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Ah! Look at him! Look at that. That's big. That's much bigger than the ones we caught. This right here is an armored catfish, native of the Amazon. They're really popular in aquariums. And of course, people let their fish go and uh, they're just all over the place. And there's a couple different species, but you can see their cool little mouths with the little brushes in there. They eat algae and rotting wood and all armored all over. Yeah. Okay, you want to try to eat them, Nate? Yeah. I do. Put your hand in the spear. You ready? See. You ready? Yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah, I just Oh, you just. Oh! <laughs> Placo thwarted. Here's one in the water. Come here on, on the nose. Step it down. You got him? You got him? Got him. Oh. Got him All right. He got this little bubble. Oh, it's a family. We could spend days in here chucking this spear at things, but we got a little more surprises left in store. Now we're going to follow Byron and his wife to a lake that they own that's stocked with North America's only population of catchable barramundi, which is a very popular sports fish in Australia. And yes, I am going to pronounce barramundi three different ways without any consistency whatsoever. Well, check it out. We got our, our guide Mike here who's getting me all rigged up so I can use my... Uh, Catfish and Carp Signature Series rod here. I'm excited to try it out on some barramundi. And this lake is full of barramundi, which is an Australian fish that gets up to 100 pounds in the wild. But here we're looking at anywhere from just a couple pounds up to 20 pounds. They're supposed to be an incredibly hard fighting fish. Throw it out and start reeling it back at steady retrieve. And if they don't hit it that way, you then try to work it a little bit. Get the water, don't let it sit a little bit. Yeah, give it a try, Nate. Grab it right up here. There you go. Oh, you see it? You see it? Oh! Good job, Nathan! Look at you caught one way before me! Sharp right in there. You can go down, but you come back up and just barely feel it. Sharp as a razor Oh, geez, yeah, you can we shave, can shave with that. your face. Oh, no, guaranteed. Smile! Whew. Nathan, high five! You ready for another one, Nate? Speaking of invasive species, I just got bit by a fire ant, which is another invasive species from South America, I believe. But they're all over here in Florida. Oh, you, do you see the splash your bait made? Yeah. Yeah, watch it. And then what'll happen is when the Biramundi come, it'll explode. Oh, that's a good pop there, Nate. I'm just the cameraman. I don't just hold it for real still. Oh, there you go. Get it, Dave. Set the hook. Set the hook. Oh. oh. Number two, Nate. Turn, turn him sideways. There you go. 
Hey, Nathan, was that cool? Awesome. Oh, Nathan, you got a hit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, that, that might be the biggest one you've caught so far, bud. Whew! Nathan, look at that chunk. That feels like 11 pounds, 12 pounds, something like that, maybe? That is a monster. Look at that, what a fighting fish. That thing was all sorts of jumping. Oh, beautiful, hard fighting fish. Jumps like three, four feet out of the water. Crazy. Well, Mike, thank you so much. That was just an absolute blast. Anytime, it's our pleasure. Nathan outfished me. He outfished me good. We had a great time spear fishing in the morning, and catching Biramundi in the afternoon. If you guys want to come down to Florida and do this, check out Osceola Outback Adventures. I'll put a link down in the video description below. It's a great time. You ready to go home and see mama? Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's do it. One tilapia filet. Man, I can't get over how huge these tilapia are. They're just a massive fish. These armored catfish are very armored but they're a little bit soft on the underbelly. All right, so there's a big piece of meat and there's a big piece of meat on the army catfish. I am gonna make Garma Marsala sweet chili sauce tilapia burgers. Well, bad news guys, some of my video files got corrupted and I lost the footage of me seizing the tilapia fillets and cooking the armored catfish. If you wanna see how I cook and eat armored catfish, check out the video description for a link to a previous video where I did just that. As for the tilapia fillets, I seasoned them with salt, with pepper, and then orange zest and garma marzala. It's nice because everything's not over seasoned. You know, tilapia is such a subtle fish, it's really easy to overpower it. You like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, if you guys want to check out more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe and I'll put a link down in the video description below to all of our social media accounts. Thanks for watching, guys.